Hammer Time is a fast and aggressive deck that can also grind the late game. In this video, I'll be giving tips to beat Hammer Time. A good way to nullify a Colossus Hammer being equipped onto a creature with Sigurda's Aid is with Dismember or a Bounce Effect. When Sigurda's Aid triggers once the Hammer enters the battlefield, you can respond. Your opponent must have chosen which creature to equip onto, then you can Dismember or Bounce the creature they're equipping onto before the Hammer moves. The Colossus Hammer sees that the creature is gone and will just sit on the battlefield. And just in case you are wondering, every creature in the Hammer Time deck has a toughness of 5 or less, so a dismember can kill any creature that they are targeting. Urza Saga is a big threat. If you kick a Tide Shaper and target Urza Saga, Urza Saga will go directly into the graveyard. The same applies for Spreading Seas. Merfolk Trickster can also kill constructs made by an Urza Saga. Subtlety does not have great targets, so when your opponent plays a Stoneforge Mystic or a Pure Steel Paladin, it might be the opportunity to use your subtlety. When your opponent has a Batter Skull or a Culture Complete, you can bounce the token that it's equipped onto. This means the equipment will just sit on the battlefield waiting to be equipped. Don't forget about Giver of Ruins when you have a Merfolk Trickster or any targeted effects. If your Hammer Time opponent has 3 mana open, be aware since they could have an Njango Seed of Empire. Sorry if I mispronounced that. If the only thing you can play is a Tide Shaper and your opponent only has base 6 out, then passing the turn isn't a bad idea, even if you're doing nothing. This does pen to your opponent's board state. Try waiting for an Ink Moth Nexus or Urza Saga to come out onto the battlefield before you use your Seize effects, though. Even though Colossus Hammer strips flying from the creature it's put onto, if the hammer is equipped onto an Ink Moth Nexus, you can pay the Ink Moth Nexus activation cost to grant it flying again, so be aware of this trick and try to play around it. One of the best ways to interact with Hammer Time was with Thieving Skydiver, but due to Hammer Time falling somewhat in popularity and Merfolk sideboards being so tight, most recent Merfolk lists don't run Thieving Skydiver anymore. But if Hammer is a big thing in your local metagame, then I would suggest writing this in your sideboard. When you sideboard, always bring in Hercules Recall, because it's a huge blowout for your opponent. Bring in Brazen Barner to deal with an equipped creature. Chalice of the Void could be a little too slow, so I wouldn't suggest bringing it in. If you have Harbinger of the Tides in your sideboard, I would also bring that in. Trim on all of your subtleties, because the targets are not really that great. And if it's necessary to cut some more cards, you can always trim on some Force Negations. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.